Hello friends in this video we are going to learn how to update my SQL table data by using AngularJS with PHP script. In previous video we have learned about how to fetch data from my SQL database table and display that data on web page. But we have moved one step ahead like how to edit inserted data by using PHP with AngularJS framework. If you have work on any project with AngularJS with PHP and if you work with form data, so at that time you have to require to update inserted data, so how to update form data by using AngularJS with NPHP programming without page refresh event. With help of AngularJS directive we can update my SQL table data by using PHP code from back and side operation and we can update data on front and side by using AngularJS function without page refresh event. Friends you have already known we have database with name testing and in that database there is one table with three column like it. First name and last name, we have already inserted some data and know this table and now we want to learn how to update this data by using AngularJS with PHP. So for that first we are going to HTML code and here first we have add one table heading with name update. And then after we have add one more open and close table data and between this we have write HTML button tag with ng click directive is equal to update data function with three argument like x dotted for fetch a data from table, x dot first name for fetching first name data and x dot last name data for fetching last name data from table and lastly we have write button name which is update. This way we have define update with function name update data with three argument like it, first name and last name, value of all these argument we have received from x object from names, by ng click directive when user click on this button this function will be called with this three argument which we have passed into this function. Now we have checked the output of this code. Friends you have show that HTML table with data with update button and when we have click on update update then at that time this update data angle which is function will be called. Now we have moved to write angle which is code and in this first we have define update data function. So for this we have write dollar scope object is equal to function name which is update data is equal to function with three argument like it first name and last name. So this way we have defined this angle which is update data function with three argument. So whenever this function will call then at the time this argument will also pass with this function. After this first we have defined one HTML hidden field for storing it of user. So for this we are going to HTML code and we have write input type is equal to hidden with ng model directive is equal to id. This way we have defined hidden field for storing id value with ng model directive is equal to id. Now after defining this hidden field we again move to angular's update data function and in this function first we assign id value to this hidden field. We have get it value from function argument for assigning it value to hidden field. So for this we have write dollar scope object dot it is equal to function argument id. Here dollar scope object it is ng model name of hidden field which we have defined. Then after we want to assign first name function argument to text box with ng model name first name. So for this we have write dollar scope object dot first name is equal to function argument first name. This way we have defined function argument first name value to text box with ng model is equal to first name.
After this we want to assign function argument last name value to text box with ng model is equal to last name, so for this we have write dollar scope object dot last name is equal to function argument last name. When this update data function is called then after button name must be changed from add to update, so for this first we have to move to HTML code of submit button and change the value is equal to add to open and close to bracket and between this bracket we have write btn name. From now we have defined the value of this button into AngularJS code and from that code we will control the name of this button. For define the button value, we have go to controller and under this we have write dollar scope object dot button name is equal to add, that means when web page load then at the time value of button will be add. But when user click on update button then at that time this button value should be changed from add to update. So for this we have go to update data function and in this function we have write dollar scope object dot button name is equal to update, so whenever user click on update button then at that time update data function will be called and at that time button value will be changed to update. Now check the output in browser. Friends you can see that when we have click on update button. Then at that time whichever data in that row appear in text box and value of button has been changed from add to update, that means our code is working. Now we have moved to server side code part, so for this friends when we have click on update button and all text box has been filled with data and button value has been changed from add to update, button on this button we have called insert data function. So for this we have go to insert data function and in this function first we have check both text box have some value. So for this we have write if statement with condition like dollar scope object dot first name is equal to null. This condition will check if text box with first name ng model has no value then it will execute if block of code and in this block we have write alert message like first name is required. Then after we have write else if statement with condition like dollar scope dot last name is equal to null, this condition will check text box with last name and g model has no value then it will execute this block of code and in this block we have write alert message like last name is required. And if both text box has some value then it will execute this else block of code and in this block we have already defined insert data function, that means both text box has some value then after it will execute this insert data function which we have already discussed in previous video. Friends you can see that when we have click on directly on add button without inserting any value into display alert message like last name is required. When we have enter some value into last name text box and click on add button we have successfully insert data into table. This way we can make required field validation. Now we have moved to insert data function. In this function we want required some modification like for update data, so for this we want to pass two more data like hit of user and button name with this function. So we have write data button named with dollar scope object dot button name and data id with dollar scope object dot id. This we have passed two more data with this function. Now friends we have moved to write PHP code into insert dot PHP page. On this page we have already write PHP code for insert data, but now we have to write update data code into this page also. On this page we have received two more data button name and user ID from Angular JavaScript function. So for first we have to save the button name data into local variable. So for this we have write dollar button name is equal to data object with button name. This way we have store button name into this variable. 
when button name is equal to add that means insert data code must run and when button name is equal to update that mean update data code must be run. So for this first we have write of statement with condition like button name is equal to add, that means insert data action must be performed. So in this block of code we have put code of insert data which we have already discussed in previous video. This way we have set the insert data code under condition like when button name is add, but when button name is equal to update, so for this we have write if statement with condition like button name is equal to update, this condition will check if button name is equal to update at that time this block of code will execute. In this block of code first we have write dollar id variable is equal to data object id, this way we have store id value into this local variable. Then after we want to write query for update data, so for this we have write query variable is equal to update table user set first name is equal to dollar first name in which we have store value of first name which we have get from Angular JavaScript function then after we have write last name is equal to dollar last name variable which we have defined above and after we have write where is equal to dollar id variable which we have defined above. So our query for update data is ready, now we want to execute this query so for this we have write if statement with condition like miscly query function with two argument like database connection string which is connect variable and second argument is query variable. This function will execute this update query and query successfully execute then it will print data updated message but there is some error then it will print this error message and it will display to user end. So our code is ready for update data by using Angular JavaScript function with PHP. So we have saved this page and check out what in browser. friends you can see that it can successfully update data button there is one problem when we have update data data our updated button name is not changed it still display update but we want to set button name after update of data should be add so for this we have move to index.php page and on this page we have to go to insert data function and in this function we have put one line like dollar scope dot button name is equal to add this code will change the button name to add when this function called now save this code and check the output Friends you can see that after successfully updation of data text box are blank and button name is changed from update to add, that means our code is working. So this is my video tutorial on how to update my SQL data by using Angular JavaScript with PHP language. In this video we have make update data function with three argument, when user click on update button text box are filled with data and we have write PHP code for update data, we have also discussed how to change button name as per requirement and last and very important things like required field validation also we have discussed in this video. So friends if you like this video tutorial, please share this video tutorial with your friends or even you can also share this video on social media also. If you have any query regarding this video you can also post comment on this video, we will reply on your comment. In next video tutorial we will discuss on how to delete data by using Angular JavaScript with PHP. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.